Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make free CD or DVD labels using free uh, resources online. The free resource that I'm going to use is an image editor uh, that is called Pixlr. It's located at Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. And this will let me edit a template that uh, I have for a CD or a DVD label. The link to that template should be uh, located below. Uh, so once you have that template downloaded to your computer, just go to Pixlr.com and click on the Open Pixlr Editor. I chose Advanced, but I think Efficient would work just as well, but I'm just going to pick Advanced. Once I go there, it's going to ask me, do I want to create a new image, open an image from the computer, URL, and so on and so on. Since I have the file of the template saved on my computer, I'm going to open an image from the computer. And here's the template, CD-DVD template. And here it is. So here's my template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add layers uh, on top of this at, later on. And these layers will have text and images and stuff so I can design my template. So let's do that right now. Let's say that we want to add a title of our CD or DVD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the A over here. This is for text. And then I'm going to click up here and a little box will come up asking me what I want my text to say. So I'm just going to come up with something along the lines of Billy Bob's CD. Uh, then I can change the font, I can change the color, I can change a lot of different things. There we go, let's make it blue. I can change the size and I can change it if I want it to be bold or italic or bold italic, any of those options. And once I find what I like, I click OK. And there's my title. And I'm going to use this move tool. It looks like a little arrow. When I select that tool, I can then click and drag and move my title wherever I want. Let's say this is part two to a series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the text tool again, the A. And I'm going to type, excuse me, I'm going to click on the CD uh, cover again. I'm going to do part two. OK, I'm just going to leave that how it is. And I'm going to click OK. Again, back to my move tool, the arrow, and then I can move this. I don't want to put anything in the center because that's going to be cut out of a DVD or a CD. And I don't want to put anything beyond the green dotted line because that can also not be printed. Now that I've, uh, now that I've set up two text layers, if you look over here in the layers, you'll notice that I have a part two, Billy Bob CD, that's the other layer, and then the background layer, which is the actual template. Now let's say I wanted to put an image on this CD label or DVD label. Well, that's fine. All I would need to do is go up to File up here, Open Image. And then I just have to find another image. So I'm going to click another JPEG. And then this giant image comes up. And what I want to do is I want to get this image onto my CD. So what I need to do is this layer right here is locked. I'm just going to click this little lock, double click the lock. And then I'm going to take this whole layer and click and drag it. See how it's moving? And I'm going to put it onto my other image. And boom, there it is. And if you see, you can see it says Billy Bob's on top. You can also see that part two comes up over it. And that's because my layers, the order of my layers, has the background, which is the disk. Then this image, and I can turn this off and on with a check mark. Then the text, then the text. And that's fine, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this image. It's a little big. So again, with my Move tool, I'm going to go up to the top and click select Edit, Free, Transform. And it's going to bring up these little boxes. The little boxes let me click and drag and resize it and smoosh it and all that stuff. Uh, and that's one way to do it, but that doesn't do it uniformly. So I didn't apply those changes. I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm going to make sure that everything is uh, Uniform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my mouse over to one of the corners and I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click and drag while holding down that key. This keeps things from being smooshed. It keeps everything constrained and so it stays the same dimensions. Uh, okay, a little too big still, so I'm going to hold down shift. And then I'm going to move it wherever I want and put it on my label. So I like that. So I'm going to hit enter twice so I can basically confirm that that's what I want. 
and let's say I want to put a nice color background. Well, I'm going to add a new layer, and that was this little button right here next to the trash can. Add new layer, and there it is, layer 5 on my timeline. And then I'm going to add, let's see, what do I want to add? I want to add some color, so I'm going to add a gradient, and that's this little thing right here next to a stamp. And I'm going to choose the color for my gradient. It comes up with pre-made colors, or I can actually go in and, and pick a color all my own. And I can pick my own color by picking the color marker here and saying OK. Uh, let's just say that's a good color for right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to click and drag and see what comes up. Okay, a whole bunch of color, and I don't see my template anymore. That's okay. That's because that this layer, my gradient layer, is above my background layer. If I turn my gradient layer off, whoops, I moved it on me. If I turn my gradient layer off with the check mark, now we can see the disk behind it. So um, I can also, if I wanted to, I could change the opacity of this gradient layer by clicking this little button down here that says opacity and I can make it lighter and see once I make it lighter I can see the template behind me. Now that template isn't going to be there in the final final file so I don't really need to see it now because I have everything where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this background layer and I'm just going to simply turn it off. So you don't see anything there but what's going to be nice is if I save this file it'll everything will be in place and perfectly uh, sized for a CD or DVD label. So all I need to do now is once I'm happy with my uh, label, I'm going to go up to File and Save. Save is going to ask me where do I want to save it. I have some choices, computer, a couple websites, Facebook, Flickr, and so on. I can give it a name if I want. So I'm going to give it a name, Dilly Bob CD. It'll ask me what format I want to use, JPEG, PNG, and many others, but I want JPEG. And then I can even pick the quality. Right now, it's default set at about 80. It also will show you the size of the file once it's done. Once you click OK, it's going to ask me where you want to save it. I click Save, and the image is saved. So let me take a look. And there we go, Billy Bob CD. So that's what it looks like. So that file is the file that I would give to whoever is printing my CDs or DVDs. If you want to see what we can do with that label and how we can get that CD or DVD printed and burned completely free, stay tuned for the next video and I'll tell you how.